Well, this installation obviously um, has something to do with gardening, um, but of course, maybe one of the main things that I would say in general is that if we talk about gardens or nature, uh, it would be that we are not talking about nature, but normally we are only talking about human culture. And um, this is what the whole piece is about in a way. So you can read this kind of thing just like a comic strip, you could say. It's uh, just expressed by using normal garden tools. And um, if you start in this kind of particular um, um, position, uh, it would be like we would start here on the downside, um, where you would have just the normal potential of earth. This is just a piece of earth taken from somewhere. and. Um, if you watch it and if you would sort it out, you would find something like more than 50 uh, different ki various kinds of plants in it, uh, which are just beginning to develop, as you can see here and there. Um, so the, pro the, the procedure of culturalization, so um, making nature a cultural object, um, would start very simply with uh, taking it out of its context. Uh, that would be represented by the shovels here. So it's very simple, it's very literally. Um, you will have a pot where you could say that the gardener would do some kind of a choice. He would just take out one of the 50, so one of the many. Um, and then, um, of course, you can see that he's a guy which is a little bit based between nature and um, uh, human culture. You can see that on his clothes, which are always very heavy, uh, green, um, adapted to nature, a little bit camouflaged. So in this process, after the, um, the selection and the, um, the decontextualization, would be the uh, desinfication. That's a little bit ironical, of course. It's expressed here in this small kind of poison box, or I don't know how you call this in English really precisely. Um, but after the desinfication process, um, you would have some kind of a culturalization process, which is represented here by this typical uh, gardener's um, earth culturalization tools, which come in this really nice box because it's a very elaborated kind of figure. Um, of course, then we would have something concerning deportation, you could say. Um, deportation, uh, removing the thing or the object out of its context, um, would be this kind of a wagon here. Um, also, you can see a small kind of um, field where, which expresses this kind of separation um, um, and classification and uh, multiplication in the, in the process of rising things or um, growing things. Then here on this kind of small chair you could really see that there is a small kind of uh, hinge or a, a point out that we are not only talking about nature but uh, of course we could also uh, somehow transfer this whole process that we are talking about to humankind uh, which makes it a really kind of cultural um, uh, production. Um, you can see that here uh, the, the book is opened um, on the page where you can, where it's a, a comparison between the orthopedy of a, a human body and the plant body. Uh, then we are back into this kind of normal gardener's uh, language. It's like um, these things would be like growing up things. Of course, then after the plant is really developing and um, in a way very excessively trying to grow, it would be cut it. Um, up there, uh, I would call this the like. Um, artificial food or artificial f uh, f uh, feeding um, and um, when we are getting to the ceiling um, you can see that the gardener is now turning into some kind of an architect so he has much finer boots um, there's a ruler showing that he's going to work with mathematical forms. You also find a city map which says that we are already entering the town because that's a very important point. The town uh, that wants to include nature in itself. Um, uh, the world town, the metropolitan, has to represent every kind of uh, item or thing or term um, to, 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 to represent it in the world and so also nature. So it pl will place nature somehow in all these kind of forms like gardens, parks and the zoo. Um, and that's a little bit represented here in this kind of uh, city map. It's not too much worked out. And then we have this kind of small sequence which is also is very important. The 
transforming something into cultural goods is to name it, to proceed it into an um, a ordering system, which is this small kind of science. And then you have this uh, normal things that give plan uh, that we use to form plants and which also have some kind of an architectural appearance. And in the end, of course, the whole kind of thing ends up in a completely architectonical uh, construction, uh, which is based on the circle, of course, and this is somehow the end of the process. So, I mean, all this kind of thing you can read like this or like that, and um, the uh, analogies you, you can develop by yourself, of course, and uh, it's not too far written in here, but I think it's quite obvious, so you can read this really. And I think this is really the basic point, is like that you would say, um, really to remember that when we talk about nature um, in Germany, nowhere, you have any kind of natural um, area, uh, landscape, everything is culturalized and um, so if we talk about nature, we definitely don't talk about nature, we talk about ourselves and our culture. <laughs>